Hello and welcome back to another of our tutorials. Today we're going to set you a very short focus challenge linked to the learning of structures. So your challenge is to take one sheet of either cardboard or paper and you are to build a structure. Now because you're using a sheet material, the type of structure that you're going to explore is a shell structure. So if I take this sheet of cardboard and turn it like that to create a 3D shape, that becomes a shell structure. So your challenge is this. You are to build a solid structure, a shape, a three-dimensional shape, out of one singular sheet of A4 card or paper. If you manage to do it out of paper, that's more um, difficult than doing it out of cardboard because as you know cardboard's slightly thicker. So the challenge is this, you need to design and make a structure to hold one kilogram of weight. Now you won't have these weights at home. This is one kilogram here and each weight on here is a hundred grams. Now because you haven't got this at home I want to show you what you can use instead of to test your structure. So that's one kilogram weight, which if you have a feel of one kilogram weight, it's really very heavy. If you haven't got that at home, what you can do is use some basic scales at home and find some stones or rocks in the garden to make up that weight. So this rock here is 100. Let's just reset that again, apologies. This one is 148 grams, so you could use rocks. Or, if you happen to have a bag of sugar in your cupboard, this sugar is not one kilogram because we've used some of it for our baking. But if you look on the back of your sugar packet, that says one kilogram. So you need to design and make a structure to hold the weight of a bag of sugar. Do you think that is possible? What do you need to apply? So you've got to take a sheet and turn it into a structure. Now, the only things you can use to, to make this structure is scissors, a pencil to measure and mark out, which you may need a ruler, and you're only allowed 50 centimetres of tape, no more, okay? Because we don't want the tape to make up the structure. So 50 centimetres of tape. So 50 centimetres is the length of that ruler, plus another 20 centimetres. So that is your challenge. We're going to come back to you in a moment to give you some ideas, but we want you to have a think and then explore to see how you can design a structure to hold one kilogram, one bag of sugar in weight. Hello, welcome back. We are going to show you how, what sort of shapes you could start exploring with your shell structure. So remember, the challenge was to build a structure to hold a one kilogram weight. Now you won't have that at home, but we did show you earlier how you could measure either objects using scales at home or using a bag of sugar, which is the equivalent to one kilogram of weight. So your limitation is one sheet, so you can only use one sheet of card or paper and you need to create a structure to hold the weight. So as you can see earlier, I've made two shapes here. I've made a cuboid and a cylinder. Okay, so the way in which I've done the, the two shapes is I've taken the sheet and I've divided it by two to give me slightly smaller um, height in the material that I'm using. So to create the cylinder I simply took the material and rolled it up to a size that was suitable and then using some tape I just taped along the side there. So that's how I created the cylinder. Now will that cylinder hold the weight of one kilogram? Now here's to find out. So obviously the size of the cylinder is larger than the um, the diameter of the weight, so that would fall right through there. If I was to lay it on its side, it holds the weight. So that is a cylinder. 
here we have a cuboid and as you can see the cuboid is slightly failing so there are things that could be improved so how could we improve that strength of that shape the other shape we could do is a triangular prism so as we know a triangle has three sides so if I measure the length and then divide it by three I go for 90 for each side so 90 180 270 so I'm counting in 90 or to make it easier I could count up in nines 9 18 27 Think then, and then connect these. And what I'm doing is marking out three identical sides, and then I've left an extra bit of material to attach it. So on those lines now, I need to fold it. So to help you fold card a bit easier, use a ruler, a pair of scissors. Open the scissors to reveal the sharp end. Just be very careful. Place the sharp end onto the cardboard and using the ruler to align your scissors against the line, score. This will create a small dent in your cardboard which will allow you to fold it much more easily. There you go. Fold it there, fold it there and fold it there. Then using a bit of your tape. Then attach one face to another. And there you have it, triangular prism. Will that hold the weight? Oh, it's buckling though, look. There we go. Oh, oh, interesting. So how could we make that stronger? Could we create lots of triangles and piece them all together to make it a solid structure? So structures, lots of engineers and designers take inspiration from nature uh, when they're developing stru strong structures. So they might look at a honeycomb that a bee creates, a spider's web. They look at all sorts of natural structures to give them inspiration to develop new, creative, innovative ideas. So I hope you like that challenge. I'm looking forward to seeing your creation um, and I hope to see you all soon. Thank you for